you guys a little bit early this week. Um, I'm a little bit afraid about losing power because we've had some you know, bad weather and flooding, and uh, so I'm going to do this one early. Um, what we see here is Tesla, and uh, I've hit you know, I've averaged into the short from 2,000, 2,100, and to the 2,200 range and so forth. I've also moved more capital to this. And the reason being is because I feel very confident, um, you know, and I don't mind shorting it because I'm very confident that we're going to hit this target down here in the 1,800 and under range. Um, so uh, I want to move more capital, expose a bit more, take a little bit more risk. I like the trade. Um, we saw that one spike down move here. That was an indicator, by the way, that was telling me that it's really, you know, uh, weak and it, it's, when it does move back down, it's going to probably move very quickly. Um, so I don't mind, you know, buying into the, the hype that we're getting here. I think this is a good risk for this level and under, and I might even hold it for numbers beyond that, but we'll see. Um, it, let's say that I took half here and then continue to hold. We'll see. I, I have not made up my mind completely on this, but I have allocated more capital towards this. I like this trade. I think it's a risk uh, reward basis. I've seen this type of activity. I've, I've seen the indicators, the volume, everything that's telling me, and uh, the cycles and uh, some of the algos that I have. Uh, they extend right out to that battery day as far as you know the up cycle and once they that reverses um, uh, you know the pullback could be extreme so I'm very um, uh, I, I, looking at the numbers I, I'm very uh, enthusiastic about this one because uh, they just they they're all showing as a, a likely payoff uh, one other thing that I've done I've exited uh, and took my profits on this short on Chevron. And uh, if you look at it technically, you could see this pattern that I've showed you guys before in the past. Uh, this is dangerous. This could very well uh, uh, look for a move on here that goes above you know this range, this hundred range, and and, above, and up. Um, it's got good geometry and has the good volume statistics and the ticks and I examined all of it statistically this is not a good trade that's why I exited at 85 uh, I told you the, uh, a couple days ago and um, as we can see with your possible breakout here it couldn't start moving back upwards here but it was a good trade from this the 93 all the way up to the hundred and, and range and uh, never got another ex, uh, entry at uh, 105, but you know I, I did get some good entries here. Uh, I'm not going to you know complain about the return on this trade. Good trade, and uh, I'm out of this one. And I'm more into Tesla, and other than that, um, Bitcoin. We're just waiting for it. You know my thoughts on there. I'm looking for us to have a bigger move down, and. Um, you know, I'll just wait for that to occur. Uh, the outlier, the one that um, I started to get into, very small, you know, was this one here. The SNX pulled back up to the $7 range. Um, you know, this is kind of a, it is what it is, it, 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 like Trump would say. <laughs> it, I, I'm playing the momentum, and it's it's kind of a risky gambling type of uh, trade. But if it pays off, you could see, you know, let's say that it goes up to 15 or you know something ridiculous like that. What if it pays off by, or even greater? You know, you don't know with ones like this. Uh, if they catch bids and there's no uh, sellers out there, you can get an explosion upward. And the DeFi space is very it, bubbly, but at the same time, it, it uh, this one has some interesting. If they actually are able to execute on their plans, uh, they can have a really disruptive effect to the crypto market in a good way. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking it small, but um, I'll look to add if it can pull back down to here. And um, I, I like this uh, SNX, which is Synthetics. And basically what they do is if you want to trade oil or 
um, gold or any number of asset classes and you want to do it through blockchain using your you know crypto you should be able to you you can and uh, this is going to bypass all the exchanges and so forth and I, I don't know how they're not going to be attacked by the United States because uh, the United States likes to protect its uh, trading houses uh, with the SEC and CFTC and uh, keep anybody else out so if these guys are trading synthetically Apple shares or something like that they're taking volume and, and uh, order flow away from the exchanges you see what I'm saying here that could be problematic but this is a small play for me I like the technology and the ideology of what they're doing um, because uh, I think it could be a game changer for the crypto space and we'll see how it evolves it's going to be interesting um, it, yeah that's that's uh, basically other than that um, what, what else is out there uh, nothing I really want to go on about I don't see anything I think uh, oil um, it, it's a level flat here I could see it spiking upwards here uh, due to the volume and so forth uh, so mm, we'll, we'll see what happens I kind of can see you know uh, normally I would be looking for a down move back down here but this has got some uh, volume indicators of a, a move upwards instead so we'll, we'll you know it's not really that interesting so the oil I'm out of Chevron um, Chevron was just overbought and uh, uh, you know um, that space I don't have any real interest in at the moment and uh, Tesla is the one Tesla is the one that I want to see I, I think I can get a nice return very quickly so I'm going to allocate more capital towards this area and uh, we'll see what happens going into battery day battery day is the big one um, the cycles end towards that period of time so now it's in into the yellow zone where um, beyond uh, the beginning of September is the yellow zone the red zone is right at the 20th so that's when your highest probability of a big drop coming uh, can start um, so we'll see what happens um, with it um, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated I hope you have a great week we've got some more exciting news uh, as well but I'll, I'll post that in the room I'll just keep this with the update and uh, I'll talk to you guys later